And welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher is ranked 37th in his gold division. Dragoon Omega. That's a good division name. He has 59 wins and 54 losses with 739 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the blue Terran in the north up against Charlie Rancher. He is also a Terran. He is red though, and I don't like red right now. He is in the south. Actually, you know, red Jolly Ranchers are my favorite. I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in forever though. Red was like cherry, right? I think I like the watermelon ones the best. Mmm, Jolly Ranchers. Anyways, the map is Lost Temple. It's a relatively long map, usually, because the the expansion is relatively secure. I always get told, and I pretty much tell it every time that I play on this map, that the Thor siege tank drop, anything like that up here is very effective. I assume that Colossi would be effective here, and possibly a spine crawler if you were able to get right out of the corner there. It might be able to snipe a couple of these SC... You know, a couple of the harvesters down there. But I hardly ever see that done. Maybe that's just the pros that do that. Um, I, I almost did it that one game, but I lost before my siege tanks actually got there, so it didn't work out that well. Barracks is going up. His is up a lot faster because he put the supply depot out front. He looks like he is going to be going for the block off. I went for the Zalnaga Tower, going for some scouting, and he is not here. No, he is not. Sorry, SCV. What? Okay. Moving on. Refinery is complete for him. Mine is eh, 10 seconds away. It is a little bit early for the build that I go for. Let's see. If he goes for the same build that I do, then that, that refinery is definitely a little bit early. It looks like he is because he is going for a second barracks, though. Immediately. Not even waiting. No, no overall command, no SCV. So, no, different build. So, in I come, and I see the reactor, see the barracks, see the second barracks, and oh, there we go. Overall command. So, looks like he was going for two racks and then an orbital command? I, I can't say I agree with that. I always get that orbital command first because, you know what? That mule brings me a lot of minerals so I can get more barracks up faster. That's just the way that I think about it. Of course, once again, I haven't done all the math. I don't do my own math when it comes to StarCraft. I, I rely on other people to do math for me. I assume they're Koreans, because the freaking Koreans are awesome at this game. So I am now just getting my second barracks. His is up. He is getting another reactor on that barracks. Do I see that? I do. Or at least I should. It doesn't look like I selected it. And oh, now I will definitely be able to tell that is a reactor. But my SV exploded it. Right there, it did. Barracks going up along with another bunker because the bunker worked well for me in the last game. So let's go for it again. If all else fails, I can always salvage that, but it is 100, go 100 minerals invested right there. I said 100 gold, didn't I? Or at least I almost said it. Yeah, I've been playing too much Seven Saga. I did uh, try to record that earlier today, actually, record the Seven Saga. But unfortunately, I, when I went to record the boss fight, after commentating on it, it's complaining about how long it freaking took. I lost all the footage. Oh my gosh, it was awful. So I'm, I had to, so I'm gonna have to, because I haven't done it yet. I'll probably do it tomorrow during the day. I'll have to reload an old save state and get back to where it was where I lost the footage, which was just before the boss battle, and get that done. But I am not looking forward to that. Marine out to do some scouting. He still doesn't know where I am, so sneaky, sneaky. Between the cheeky. I am right here. Still pumping out. 
SCVs, mules, marines, marauders. I do have that bunker fully filled up now, and he's got a ton of marines. He's got 18 of them, no marauders, because he went purely for two reactors. And then more supply depots right at the ramp. I don't agree with that ever, ever. Because then I can stand here and wipe out any chances that you have of getting reinforcements. I mean, 43. These are 8 each. So he's got 32 here. And then 11 there. That's not right, is it? How much are those worth? It doesn't, it doesn't tell me. Of course not. So here he is moving in with a huge ball of marines. No, no upgrades on him whatsoever. And they are going up against my upgraded army. Somewhat upgraded. No stim pack, but concussive shells. And no combat shells. Stim pack up now, though. And boom, able to salvage that, that bunker just in time, getting all those minerals back. Now I do have too many minerals. Now I'm going for the counterattack because he went in for massive amounts of marines. I didn't even notice those two marines there. Oh my gosh. Ran right past him. He's down to just six marines. Two of them are there. That means there's only four in his base. I go for the scan here. I was planning on just leaving these guys at the Zalnaga Tower. But after I go for the scan and I see that he's got nothing left. I'm like, you know what? I gotta move in. I've got to. I got to, got to end the game. He stopped producing here. See, once again, you know, these are worth 8, so then this is worth 11? I guess that's right. Yeah, no, that's right. So, okay, I'll, I assume that he's got more than 11 SCVs right now. So let's see, taking out all these supply depots. And I am trying to focus them. Boom. He's down to 26 out of 11. He has no chance of bringing reinforcements in. That is why you don't put the supply depots out front, and he is forced to leave the game. That is it. It's a quick game, just nothing out of the usual, really, from what you see, well, from what I see in most games, but I do want to drive the point home that a massive ball of Marines does not win the game for you. Always. Just because you got a lot of units doesn't mean they can match up against my units. I do have better units, they're upgraded, and the scan going down won the game for me immediately. Don't put the supply depots out front. Put them where I put them. Around the base. Because that's what Bubba said. <laughs> now I still love you, Bubba. But the supply depot placement, you know, it's it's relatively important. Important. It's not. Well, you know, if you put them all here, then it's hugely detrimental to you. You know, once again, he had he had no chance. I had he literally would have to have sent all his SCVs here, had them all die to my Marines and Marauders, taking out what he could. Then he could start building some of these guys here. Well, these guys would pop out, but they would. Nothing would be built after that. So, don't build your supply depots out front. Whatever you do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.